It was Sunday, August 28th, 2022. Week one of college football. Northwestern took on Nebraska, and the question was, by the end of it, was Nebraska not living up to expectations, or was Northwestern better than people thought? The game was 31 to 28, coming out in favor of Northwestern. However, it was after that that really caught my attention. There are only two teams in college football this year that went 1 and 11, I believe in FBS. Northwestern and USF. Now, because we did a USF rebuild in the last couple months, it is definitely time to show some favor to the Wildcats. But well, what's goody fellas and welcome back to the channel today of course is our northwestern in-depth rebuild we're not a very good team in fact i think we might be the worst in the big 10 we're a four-star school so decent potential there rutgers is the only other team that is 77 in our entire conference so we are the worst team my goals for today are just simply to become the most dominant team in the big 10. last thing to note is that we are in the northwestern playbook and they run a spread so we are heavily favoring the pass game in this rebuild kind of the opposite of the over aggressive run game we did with the army rebuild so we do have a freshman quarterback in brendan sullivan that's fantastic so we could just ride him out in the period that this guy is starting we will find another quarterback and probably by the time that that guy finishes we will be the best team in the Big Ten, I would imagine. So we might be really bad this first season because our quarterback is inexperienced and we don't have... We have a below average receiving core, I would say, for the Big Ten. Which isn't a problem, it just means because we are so aggressive through the air, kind of gonna, you know, not be good for us. Okay, it's nothing but three stars, but that's okay, you gotta start somewhere. Happily go into defense, invest in all this. There we go, Philip Carter. He doesn't look very good, but we'll give him a crack. So I managed to get 16 players okay everybody likes being in the 60s apparently other than philip carter i really want to get my offensive line out the way now so i don't have to worry about it for a couple years at least joe brown what a gem plus 10 88 excel he ain't messing around okay so we're not good c plus across the board start now with cow man we might go 1 in 11 this season as well oh man oh miss really so we're dropping down there you know what we'll cut our losses at least give me the o line thank you lolock cheese has to come through un unbelievably clutch this year because we are down to three players i'm gonna stay on rocky though i think there is a chance that we could finesse this we're only dropping down by 10 for now my forecast is that it's extremely doubtful but rocky would be welcomed here so 16 percent locked on the seventh best player in the nation why are all the four stars such low overalls what is this nonsense there we go justin henry though fantastic center wow that is trash that is not how you want to start out Trey Butler looks amazing though. Justin Henry goes up seven overall. John Sims, is this guy? He's more of a pocket passer, I would say. Decent speed, Nick Cell. Pretty much where exactly you would want it in reality. Not too fast, not too slow. Can run if he needs to. We are finding a lot of gems here. So low lock cheese came through incredibly clutch. We basically just got more than an entire O line there as well. We lost to FCS. Oh my goodness. So we are zero and three. If we can't beat them, we don't stand a chance against pretty much anybody all right so we're zero and five but at least we're signing players that's a good sign i guess yeah it looks like we do have the lead on majority of players here which is fantastic i think i got wide receiver in the bag that's for sure all right so we managed to minimize all the points i need to find more players to add to the board what about fullback though okay there's no fullbacks that's okay though okay there goes a kicker i guess we'll take that might as well get a kicker at this point okay tom carey will take the punter I think we might be done with recruiting this season because uh, there's nobody else I could go after even if I wanted to. We have our board. We're going to get points back. I'll see you at the end of the season. Oh, we got to win. I must say the Big Ten this year was especially funny to watch. Didn't Iowa beat South Dakota State with two field goals and a safety or something? I don't remember what happened, but Iowa really had a funky season. Nebraska, I don't know what happened to them as we pick up the dub. All right, there goes John Sims, our quarterback of the future. I kind of just want to have a look at our quarterback because uh, apparently he broke a record. Not sure what record it was. He had 3,500 yards, 29 touchdowns, 9 picks. Now, is that because we're throwing it so much, though? Our running backs didn't really get any carries at all. Really exciting stuff, actually. I can't wait to see once we have, you know, a 99 quarterback and a plethora of dominant wide receivers. What we can really do? Transferring to Tulsa. Mate, I don't blame you. If you're a running back on this team, you're in the wrong place. 77 overall had 1,300 yards. Imagine if this guy 
was 97. And he's already putting up 1,300. Was he the best? He wasn't even the best receiver we had, but he was the most dominant. Okay, so I did lie. It wasn't a top 10 class. We do drop down to a three star. No five stars. I mean, we... Uh, I hate trying to justify this because we didn't do that good. We don't even have a 90 overall on the team. So if we didn't do good as a four star, I can't imagine. Okay, this is what is super trippy about this game. How do we pull two four star receivers first interest? But when we're a four star, we don't get that. Tight end, I need a freshman. This year, we only get 10 players. Ooh, okay, Eric Rogers, 80 overall, not bad. Good zone coverage as well, definitely more of a coverage linebacker. And then these are our gems. There are a lot of quarterbacks here, a lot of receivers as well. I mean, if I can get any one of them, I especially want to get that tight end. Even though he does drop down, we really need it. What is with going up against Cal again? Were we, did we get worse? We're 81, 83. Okay, so we did go up overall. Fantastic bonus, 330. Could not be much better than that. I would like to get our defense kind of filled out because again, we don't have any cornerbacks or safeties. We have one down here, but he's not very good. Wow, we beat him in overtime. That's how you want to start the season. Yes, we have the lead on him. That's the main guy that I need this year. I guess we do have the pipeline to Illinois, which does help us out quite a bit. We even have the lead on Anthony Allen. Uh, I don't think that'll stay there for very long. We're not even on this guy's board. Wait, why? Yeah, I'll stick with it, but I don't understand how we're not even on the board. This is the guy we're first on, Anthony Allen. He's actually the number one guy in the nation. Another receiver. There goes another tight end. He's six foot seven. He's a blocking tight end. That might not be bad for what we're trying to do here more defensive ends i need it where are all the cornerbacks though that is the real question hopefully some of these athletes can transition okay enough with the defensive ends i have a bit too many defensive ends don't necessarily need receiver as bad anymore but i will round out the board it kind of seems like we do need to round it out a little bit there goes joe joe allen is a not a corner he's a running back receiver okay I mean, Carlton's 80 overall, so our offense, from the looks of things, is going to be stacked, but our defense doesn't look like it's going to be very good. That's what I mean, though. I have so many defensive ends. Okay, there goes a corner, Adam Arrington. Okay, this guy is an amazing corner. 85 zone, 86 man. Got to definitely try and pick him up. I think we should be able to uh, get our corners done this year. Man, it's going to be difficult because there's so many players on this board right now. 34 to be exact. This guy has the last name Sanders, and he can't play corner back come on man should probably get a running back too uh we have neglected it even though that's not what we're really going with beautiful there goes the 81 linebacker and we got a defensive end okay everything is looking really solid right now we're sitting on a five and five record so not great but better than last year quite good i mean we still have a lot of low lock cheese here I've, that i've only invested five points in and we're still gonna probably run away with majority of them then again, it doesn't have a lot of depth, but the quality of player is tenfold what it was last year. Look at Sullivan breaking his own records. So Sullivan led the nation in passing yards. 48 touchdowns and nine picks. And that's as a sophomore. Oh, I can't wait to see the receiving numbers. So running backs didn't really do much, understandably so. Bryce Kirk's senior had 17, 27, and 21 touchdowns. There's no way once we start to establish ourselves and have 95s plus that we shouldn't be seeing three or four receivers over a thousand yards. That would ideally be the goal here. So even though we go six and seven, we did sign ourselves a top five class. It was number three, right? behind Alabama and LSU. We did that with one five-star player as well. We're down to a two-star. 11 four stars though is kind of different. I think this guy at the top, A. Allen, wasn't that the number one guy in the nation, if I'm not mistaken? Let me have a look. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we managed to finesse and steal the best player in the class. I don't even know if we have a spot for him on the team. I don't even know what he is. I just didn't want them to have him. I think he could be used elsewhere and make a bigger impact, like wide receiver. Tony Daniels is a cornerback. There goes a free safety in Stewart. So I would say maybe another cornerback, safety, and some linebacker. And the team is pretty much done. We just kind of have to watch them progress. But nice, not bad. Our first 90 overall, it is Brendan Sullivan. 99 awareness is really going to help us. He has 91 throw power, 83 accuracy. I would say just from throwing it, Sims would be the better player. I would take Sims here. 
So now as a two star, it's definitely gonna be uh, harder here. Nothing but three stars, pretty much what I expected. Lucky for us, we don't need a whole lot this year. Like we already said, just a linebacker and a safety, really. I don't like any of these plays. <laughs> I'm already down to third interest and I don't really like anybody. Another tight end, okay, we will take that. I'm not really interested in the receivers. The best strong safety. Okay, we'll pick up some of these guys. Surely one of them will commit. Definitely gonna pick up some linebackers here and again, just pray. Okay, so that's not good. Rich Prince goes down eight over but Sheldon goes up one and he's genuinely interested this safety is getting cut this guy is getting cut so we have one player from genuine interest you know we haven't done well this rebuild when it's year three and we just unlock insta commit wow no shit Brennan Sullivan is the all NCAA first team quarterback okay decent strides though 84 overall 88 offense 83 defense not really progressing that much how is Syracuse ranked seven wow okay they must <laughs> What? Passing touchdowns for a career already holds the record. Passing touchdowns in a season already holds the record. Bro, even some of our receivers, like 1,700 yards is the most yards by any receiver in Northwestern history. So we did definitely uh, trim some fat here. We should be able to sign all five of these guys, which is two corners, a tight end, and two outside linebackers. All right, like I said, man, we just need this low lock to come through in the clutch. Nobody in the top 10 is low lock. We have a five-star athlete. I tell a lie. Definitely don't need wide receivers it'd be a bit silly to get one now don't need defensive ends in fact let me just stop playing around let me just go straight to linebacker and see what the word is doesn't look too great like in the low lock section we do have a 71 there but chances are probably gonna go down we might be able to get charles jones we're down in the 24 percentile which might be a bit too far gone but we'll give it a crack though nice ricky morton what a gem he is plus eight overall okay we're gonna get him he might even be our safety right there linebacker's gonna go up another linebacker is a gem oh man this is gonna be tough right here we have stephen allen too Okay, I really like the look of this right here. So we've got the tight end hopefully in the bag. And we've gotten not just the positions that we need, but super quality players at that position. Tight end, we got the cornerbacks, the linebacker. Seth is a 78, David Johnson 76. This guy's just whatever. And then we got the two safety, Steven and Mark, just in case one of them doesn't decide to sign here. I like it. It's really coming together. And look at that, four of them right there. This could not be going better. It's gonna be a really short season of recruiting because once we're done here, that is pretty much it. You know what? Our team is not that good we're only what 85 overall or something like that it's because of the hyper aggressive spread offense you saw last year dude had what 5,000 yards this year we might do even better wow look at that class just gorgeous and we're breaking more passing records by the minute there are some players left to go after but to be honest i'm not really that interested i've already done what i came here to do and we make the conference championship uh i was not expecting that i don't think we're on ohio state's level just yet wow our division really crapped the bed we smashed iowa and they were second man lucky we're in this division because we wouldn't even survive in the other one well we already know this is a loss there's no point 28 to 49 we will cop it on the chin oh that could have been such a good finish i mean i didn't expect to beat ohio state but losing our bowl game as well seven and seven record that should be good enough to go up to a three star though 51 59 49 touchdowns nine picks we still have one season to go rushing yards not even over 500 yet okay this is what i'm talking about jacob gill the senior with just under 2,000 yards spencer who's a freshman had 13 25 31 touchdowns between the both of them Anthony Allen as a freshman at close to 700. We have such a bright future. It's not even funny. And I'm not even really trying to look at like blocking wasn't all that impressive. Don't really care that much about defense because it's pretty much less than what we would normally have by this point. So yeah, there we go again. Broke his own <laughs> season record right there with 49. If we could beat CJ Batcher, he had five touchdowns in a game. I think we could genuinely do that. Uh, we do have quite a few players leaving at quality positions, but that's good though because we already have our backups. So our first class was 35th, our second class was third, and our third class is fifth. 
back up to a three star prestige look at this overall right now and then look at it when we go into next season it is going to be night and day difference i would predict i'm going to say about 90 to 91 overall offense should be up to close to 95 and i think defense will probably let us down i think that'll be around like 87 or something like that man if i get that right that'll be crazy quarterback up to 97 unfortunately every time we get close to 90 they leave these blokes are both seniors right here so is brendan sullivan but you look at like sean jackson sophomore 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 again everybody's coming through the ranks john sims is up to an 86 it's gonna be a night and day difference right here so you can see sullivan goes up to 84 throw power just terrible and then sims already has 92 throw power and 86 accuracy so technically speaking much better quarterback but we might as well let sullivan finish out his career at least wide receivers looking good 88 this is the first time recruited players are going to be starting anthony allen was the number one guy from last year he's up to an 87 Spence is up to an 88 i mean this team is just prime for success even tight end as well so a lot of these guys are going to be leaving but of course we have jakees newton coming up through the ranks so if it were up to me i would feel no real need to recruit this year personally speaking i'm just gonna go after literally the best available talent there might not be a whole lot of footage from this season's recruiting but if something crazy does happen i definitely will let you know in fact can we get a fullback that'd be kind of nice i might try and finesse one of these fullbacks one of them has to be good okay here go the fullback 76 73 that guy goes up to a 79 not bad i think we can work with this a lot of them go down crazy though we are gonna need good blocking for that final season so we might as well get on top of it now so i was up to a 91 wisconsin's a 91 we're 90 93 offense 88 defense i think i was very close with the prediction it looks like the big 10 as a whole is getting considerably better but i think by the time john sim starts i think that they might drop down a little bit either way it's fine we're coming in b plus now we are definitely i wouldn't say a natty contender but we can contend with at least our division we get the punter too i mean we have a 370 bonus and we lose how man bill russell <laughs> he's really good as well he's a good running back okay so we don't actually want to offer scholarships this time around because we are on two out of three to commit i believe and we're so close to going up again give it a couple more weeks see what we can do okay question is where do we want to go we don't necessarily need anything did say i wanted to round out the o-line a little bit might as well pick up another receiver for the future as well we'll get bill russell because he's just the best three out of three instant come on you gotta be able to finesse somebody here yes okay we got the best player out of all of them we even beat wisconsin okay seven and two record one of those losses was to iowa state okay brandon dukes come on thank you finally i don't even need to get any other players like look at this class there's got to be at least what 15 17 players there and we're going to get all of these guys too so this is extraordinary nine and three every year we've progressively gone up can we win our first bowl game though because we still have not won a bowl game and we did it every game is so close though yep look at that close to 6,000 5,900 57 touchdowns and 10 picks for Sullivan's final season rush game was non-existent but look at that 2,000 yards for Spencer Anderson 1,400 for Reggie and a thousand for Anthony Allen these are all players again that are going to be 90 overall plus in the next season blocking is really bad though I don't know what the problem is with the O-line but it's really not playing well wow Sullivan isn't even going in the first round what a steal he would be he had five oh my goodness look at the first season second third and then fourth almost 20,000 yards through his career always pretty much had the same amount of picks but his touchdowns just skyrocketed 57 in the final year 68.3 percent completion percentage too we averaged 455 yards that season per game just i've never seen anything like this before we had a record breaking five five stars we're back up to a four star so we're back to where we started the next most five stars was north carolina and notre dame they only had two apiece we had five bro but as you can see anthony allen is now the best player on the team devin turner up to a 92 spencer anderson up to 92 so john sims has a lot of receivers to throw it to in fact after that is reggie so he has three receivers over 90 overall decent o-line we have a lot of depth look at this look how slow the number is going down we're more than halfway down the team and we're only at 85 and look how many 87s 
88, 90s. This is a good team. I mean, we have no definitive superstar, but it's really good. I am going to let the CPU take over since this is the last season of recruiting. We don't need anything anyway in particular, but this is what we're all interested in. The conference outlook. What overall are we? Iowa goes down to an 88. Wisconsin remains a 91. We go up to 95 with a 97 offense. 91 for Illinois, 90, 88. Okay, so everybody kind of came back up. Look at these prestiges though. Minnesota is a one-star prestige. Rutgers is one star. Nebraska two. Illinois is a three. We're a four. We have to have a good season. I would love nothing more than to go to a five-star prestige for that final season. We have Ohio State again. That's going to be a big one. We'll review the schedule after the season, but uh, good luck us. Five and seven. What in the world happened? We beat Akron in overtime, lost to Rice, lost to Ohio State, got pumped by Maryland, who were two and ten, by the way, lost to Nebraska. How? What happened? Oh, we got to look at these stats. So Sims had 4,200 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 13 picks. I don't really understand because he was better than the other guy running backs did their thing as well we scrambled for 600 yards anthony allen had 1400 yards but look at this drop off though that worked out really well for us we dropped down to a three star school but the computer despite not getting a single five star did manage to sign the fourth best class in the nation all right let's see what this roster is gonna look like 99 quarterback perfect only 88 awareness what are the throwing stats though 94 throw power 93 accuracy okay so there's no way that he doesn't perform this year 97 overall for anthony allen he's also got spencer anderson to throw it to also got trey butler to throw it to if we need to depend on the ground game we can because we have a 94 running back 94 center 94 left guard backup running back is 93 the outside linebackers are 90 plus i don't think this is quite a 99 team despite the amount of depth and the talent at the top but i think it's very close this is probably like a 97 98 overall team and just getting a cheeky look at the depth charts a 99 there 94 93 fullbacks obviously starting to progress three receivers over 90 all americans as well tight ends 88 and 86 respectively offensive line is well over 90 other than our right tackle 87 defensive end 88 89 87 linebackers like i was saying are all high 80s if not 90s cornerbacks our fifth string is 80 86 89 free safety 87 strong safety interestingly enough we're not playing ohio state in the regular season but we do have michigan so we have minnesota at 90 one star illinois at 86 we are at 99 so we are at 99 86 for iowa 86 for wisconsin 86 for rutgers and 84 for nebraska everybody fell off in this last year let's get this dub can we save northwestern Woo! Okay, defense didn't really impress me there. Okay, so Michigan is ranked three. We currently have 44 points per game. We're first in the nation on pass yards, but dead last in rush offense. We win 38 to 31. And because they were ranked so high, there's no way we don't go up in the rankings. Okay, we're backing that up with a 66 point game. Okay, we're rank one. And I don't know why I'm so nervous about Maryland. They smashed us last year. They're literally one and seven, bro. Okay, big win against Maryland. We break the curse. So question is, are we going to have Ohio State? I imagine it would be nobody other than Penn State. Okay. I mean, they are rank four. They definitely could play upset. We'll jump in. We won't play much, but I at least want to see what the word is. I got to at least do the return. I mean, come on. Here we go. Rank four Penn State. We got Walker back here. Okay, the blocking wasn't really there. Step back, cheese. Ah. All right, let's see how this first quarter plays out. We're not going to get it. Oh, we got a turnover. Nice. 14-0. And it continues. Penn State fighting back, though. They don't want to surrender yet. Okay, I think the game might just be over. I mean, it's not looking good for Penn State. They go for two. They get it, but too little, too late. So we are going to go to the natty. We did it technically save northwest and we got our first conference championship as well uh, so ohio state went nine and three then 95 overall so pretty much the same as penn state anyway john sims is going to win the heisman so he started off extremely sloppy on that five and seven season there was a part of me that thought we were gonna lose but we got oklahoma the only b plus bruh 
So checking it out, our Heisman winner had 51, 56, 55 touchdowns and seven interceptions. Running backs didn't do squat. Receivers though, 17, 15 for our Anthony Allen. Spencer with 1,300. After that, it kind of falls off, but at least we had two big dogs running it out there for us. Blocking was a lot better. This doesn't look great at all to our standard, but it was better than what we were doing. And defensively, I mean, I don't really know what to look out here for. That's a lot of quarterback sacks. Robert Stewart with six interceptions. That's the most I've seen in a while. But fellas, it is time to jump into this game against Oklahoma. I'm going to go with the all black. Got to rock with the all black. Walker again on the return. Don't really have the block. What a pancake. Oh my God. Step back, cheese. I got them both. Oh, he's breaking tackles. No. First and goal. We're in to start this one. Man, we are trading right now. We are kind of struggling with Oklahoma, even though they're B+. Plus. We're in again. Third quarter time. Can 97 overall defense step up? Great option. You're kidding. Get him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's man coverage. You goofball. Butler. Breaking tackles down to the 40. And you see the players that you recruited like four years ago. Like there's a Trey Turner, etc. It's so wholesome. I love it. Okay, straight through the gap. We'll take the slide. Kind of cringe. Great blocking out to the right though. Do we get another block? We do get another block. I don't even really want to score here though. Would like to waste a bit more clock here. Don't really want to score. Come on, take me out. Okay, I definitely could have scored there, but... No way. Are they really not going to call a timeout here? I mean, either way, you just lose. Like, are they going to call a timeout? I don't think they are. Wow, that was uh, a lot closer than I would have liked. But a win is a win. A Big Ten championship is a Big Ten championship. And a natty is a natty. Look at the boys celebrate. We finally did it. The kings of the Big Ten. But fellas, that is definitely going to wrap it up for this rebuild. If you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. It's great to be back. Thank you so much for the support lately. I thought after taking such a long break, you know, the viewership and all that would be down. But you guys are still going hard and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But if you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I wonder, can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I wonder, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I wonder, can I call upon the thunder? Sometimes I wonder, can I make the earth shake? I'm celestial, like in no other way. Y'all ain't from around here, shit, what can I say? No mistakes, I grind.